Hey guys, so I'm in Global House looking for uh, gold prospecting tools and I've just seen these, uh, check out these pans. These look perfect for gold prospecting. But I'm just kidding guys, let's go and find the real tools. It's going to help us find some gold. Okay guys, so I found the tools. Here's the tool section, so let's have a look what we can find for gold prospecting. These look perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Like a mini shovel. I've seen a lot of gold prospectors use these. So I'm gonna have a careful look and I'll get back to you again soon. Okay guys, so I found this up there. There's a nice selection to choose from. I like this one, it's bright. It looks strong, durable. And uh, I'm gonna get this one. Perfect for digging up the gold. And this is only uh, 169 baht, that's just over five dollars, five US dollars. So amazing value, the steel, so it's not gonna break easily. They've got much larger shovels here, or spades, but um, I'm gonna get this mini spade because I'm just starting out prospecting, so I won't need one of these huge spades. Maybe in the future, when uh, things get more serious. Hey guys, Chris and Eddie here, and I'm back from Global House. They got some great stuff there for gold prospecting. I'm really happy with, with what I found there. Um, got some great tools, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'll give you a quick look now. Got this uh, little shovel, crowbar, this tool, chisel, some screwdrivers, and this hook tool that I thought would be good for crevicing. So uh, let me flip the camera around and I'll show you in detail how much everything cost and what it looks like because I think with gold prospecting we want you know we want good quality tools tools that are not gonna break easily but at the same time we want tools that are as cheap as possible because you know some of us don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a new hobby and so we have a low budget so any of you starting out in gold prospecting you know I highly advise you before you go searching on the internet for these you know, expensive professional tools. First, check out your local construction store, your hardware store, because um, you can find great tools to help you get the job done cheaper. So I'll flip the camera around and let's take a look at what I bought. Okay guys, so let's have a look. First of all, as you can see, a nice little selection of tools. Uh, there's still, I didn't check every section in the store, so I'll be going back there to have a, a good check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's start with these. I got two screwdrivers. See, they're very, very thin. It comes right to a point there. I got a small one, I got a long one, and these are gonna be hopefully perfect for if I find gold in the small crevices and rocks, I can use these to scratch out, scratch out the, um, the, the rocks and the, uh, the dirt. Earth. So this one was, uh, this little one was, uh, let's see, 35 baht, that's about one dollar. This long one, you see, it's a nice, nice size. This one was 42 baht. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, 42 baht there, that's about a dollar and a half. So those are nice. This was about 30 baht. I'm not sure what I'll use it for, maybe scraping the rocks. Chisel. This was uh, this was 32 baht. That's a dollar, dollar for that. Because I've seen in some gold prospecting videos, they use a hammer and a chisel to break the rocks and to check, you know, if there's gold hiding in the cracks. So this is an important tool, I think, a chisel. And then this, you know, I was looking at this and I was thinking, you know, this looks like a good tool for crevicing, for finding gold, you know, in those cracks in the rocks. And I've seen people on YouTube in the gold prospecting videos when they're trying to get that gold, they're using like a hook shaped tool. And I thought this could be this could be perfect. You know, it's designed to put a, a wooden handle in there. But uh you know it's got a handle already. And this could be perfect as a crevicing tool. It's not as thin on the end as I'd hoped, so it won't get right into the, the tiny cracks, but uh you know it might do the job. It's worth buying. 
And this was only uh, 69 baht, so two dollars. And this is impossible for this to break. It's all metal design. And even if it's not perfect, uh, it's only two dollars. This I was very happy to see, the crowbar. This is pretty much an essential tool for any uh, gold prospector, any serious gold prospector. Sometimes the gold is hiding deep behind large rocks or boulders and uh, sometimes they're just too difficult to move by hand. So we have to apply leverage. So I found this crowbar. It's not a huge crowbar, but it's perfect. I'm very happy to find this and I'm very happy with the price. It was only, uh, it was only 90 baht, which is three dollars. Three dollars for this high quality, nice crowbar. Help me find some gold. And lastly, this is what I was most happy with because I've seen a lot of gold pros prospectors on YouTube and they're using these like mini shovels. They got these mini shovels and they got a nice selection in Global House. They got a nice selection of these mini spades, mini shovels. I call this a spade. You can call it a shovel if you want. But uh, it's a nice solid, solid construction, solid design. It's a, it's a brand name. And uh, this is a nice little tool. I was so happy to find this. It's bright yellow, so I won't forget it out in, the, out in the field when I'm hunting for gold. I'm always looking for bright colored tools like bright yellow or red. It just makes it so much easier so you don't forget something, you know, when you're out in nature. And this spade, this mini spade, this was an amazing price. This was only 169 baht. So that's about five and a half dollars, US dollars. So that's pretty amazing. Five dollars for that. Nice construction. We got more styles there. I'll be going back. I need to get a large spade too. So yeah, I'm super, super happy with what I got for my gold prospecting. And you know, total, this wasn't expensive, you know? About 400, just over 400 baht, which is about, about 14 or $15 for all of that. It's amazing. So guys, I'm really happy with what I've got from Global House. You know, if you're starting out, if you live in Thailand and you're starting out prospecting and you need to get tools, definitely check out Global House. You want to spend your time choosing the correct tools for the job and also you want to get the best price. Another video coming very soon showing the gold prospecting tools I bought from a local construction shop and I'll be uploading that video within one or two days. So be sure to subscribe and uh, join me on the adventures hunting for gold in the mountains, in the rivers and uh, on the beaches of Thailand. So thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you again very soon.